This is not a review of Thomas Bernhardt's writing, and so nor is it a review of the Lime Works by Thomas Bernhardt, which is nonetheless a book I wish to read. But this is a review of Amazon, the so-called bookseller Amazon, and if anything, it is a review of the Amazon machine, the so-called publishing, printing, and selling machine of Amazon, which supplies our books, in this instance in cooperation with publisher Vintage, who claim and have claimed in the past to publish some of the books of Thomas Bernhardt, who is an Austrian novelist whom I wish to read. Although on receiving this book, you will see, of course, that I cannot read Thomas Bernhardt, because printed within the covers of the Lime Works by Thomas Bernhardt, which I wish to read, is the book Practicing Resurrection by Nora Gallagher, which is not the book I wish to read, indicating to me that somehow the machine has broken that Amazon, the so-called bookseller Amazon, is somehow a machine, and a machine with human parts, and that the machine, which is the sum of those parts, some human, is broken. And looking at that more carefully, looking at that broken machine, we can only conclude that it is one of the human parts, one of the human components, as it were, that has let this machine down, because the publisher Vintage, which publishes the Austrian writer Thomas Bernhardt, whom I wish to read, and the American spiritual essayist Nora Gallagher, whom I did not wish to read, one of whom is alive and one of whom is dead, I will not say which. The publisher Vintage, I keep thinking, would never accept a consignment of books so printed from their printer and would return these books, if printed in this fashion, to their printer. And I keep thinking that this error, it has to be an error, is the fault of this machine, which is the so-called bookseller Amazon, which is working with these publishers to produce print-on-demand sales of books. That is just my guess and that the machine has failed, has created an error which appalls us all because the questioning of one machine creates questions regarding all machines and all systems and we begin to think mistakes can happen within machines among the human components of those machines and not in nature which cannot recognize a mistake, such a thing as a mistake and looking at the book destroys us because of this, because we cannot in all honesty see if the book is a mistake or not, or tell to any convincing degree if this book is Thomas Bernhardt's The Lime Works containing a text of Nora Gallagher's Practicing Resurrection, or is a text of Nora Gallagher's Practicing Resurrection contained within the covers of Thomas Bernhardt's The Lime Works. Bernhardt would have found this curious, certainly, funny, probably, and this book, I keep on thinking, is just a symptom of the failure of our machines and the way that we have made book selling a machine because this would not happen. It could not happen, I keep on thinking, in my local bookshop. I keep thinking, which has human components. An unattractive thought suddenly is brought to our attention when there is an error such as this book, such as the one I am presenting here. As always, I come to realise that we are being cheated by Thomas Bernhardt in a Thomas Bernhardt book, or more meticulously put, that Nora Gallagher's text came to be printed between the covers of a Thomas Bernhardt book, The Lime Works by Thomas Bernhardt. And worse, my first thought on receiving this copy of The Lime Works by Thomas Bernhardt was disappointment, and within a minute I was angry, angry that I paid £10 for an error. I kept on thinking, and now I had to pay to return it with a stiff letter saying, Dear Sir, Madam, when in fact the letter and all the time I spent composing and printing the letter and correcting and even proofing the letter and even trying in the letter to contain my tone all the time that I'd spent trying to contain my tone in the letter to Amazon, all that time would be wasted because the letter would be going into a machine which would cause the machine to waste my time further by sending me a form letter by return presented just as mechanically as this book was presented to me. And maybe Nora Gallagher would like it. You never know, she might like it, and she may be able to, to use it to berate her publisher, her print-on-demand publisher, who can't separate two computer files long enough to make a successful print run of a book. A risk for a machine with such human components as the bookseller Amazon. I think I'll never be able to keep quiet about this.